Hi, this is Charlie Calvert, and this is the second in a series of videos for Prog 118 on basic patterns. In this particular video, we're going to show how to take a simple specification and implement it. In particular, we'll show how to create a class, get some data, feed it into the class, and return a result. So the class that we're going to show, we're going to create, is defined by this specification. We don't care what namespace you use, just use the namespace that's available in your class. So you can forget about that part of it. And we're going to create a class called Math Methods, and it's going to have one method in it called Square. It's going to have public access, it's going to return an integer, and it'll take an integer as a parameter. So let's go ahead and create that. We'll come back into Visual Studio, we'll go New, and we'll create a new project and we'll make it a Windows Forms application. We'll create a default Windows Forms application. Now we're going to need to be able to get some data from the user and show the user some data. So let's drop down a button and let's move that down to the bottom of the form and then let's drop down a text box and let's go ahead and put that up high here on the form. Okay? And why don't we drop down a second text box and let's also put it here on the form. Okay, so now we've got two text box and a button. We'll go ahead and we'll create a method to get ourselves started with here now. So let's go over here and look again. We need to create a class called Math Methods. Well, let's do that. We'll go up to Project. We'll choose Add Class. Okay. We'll create a class. We'll call it Math Methods. Okay. Here's our class. Now this class needs a method called square with public access, returns an int, and takes an int as a parameter. So we'll come down here, we'll make sure our class is declared as public. All of our classes are declared as public in Prog 118. Now let's go ahead and define a method. This is a public method, remember? What is the access modifier? Public. <clears throat> what does it return? It returns an integer. So we'll come back here and we'll say it returns an integer. What is it called? Well, the method's called square. That's the name of the method. So we'll come back here and we'll call the method square. And then what parameters does it take? Well, it takes one parameter, which is of type int. So we'll go ahead and define it to take that. Now we'll go ahead and declare the body. Now notice right now we have a red squiggly under the word square. That's because it's not fitting its definition. It's not returning any value. So if we just write return zero, then our code will compile. Now you can see our build succeeds when we plus FX. If we come up here and do build solution, it compiles. Okay, how would we implement a method called square? We would write X times X. So now we've completed re creating our class. Let's go back into the main form over here. Now, we need to get some data that we can work with. We'll declare an integer x. We know we need to declare an integer because our method that we're going to call takes an integer as a parameter. Okay? So we'll come back over here and what we'll do is we'll say int.parse textbox1.text and now we've got some data to work with. The next thing we need to do is to create an instance of our class. Okay, so we'll call, remember our class is called Math Methods, and we'll create an instance of that class. Okay, so now we have the class. Now what we're going to do is call the square method of that class. And it tells us right here it needs an integer, so we pass in the integer that we created. We know also that our class returns an integer. So we could go ahead, now we have two different approaches. We could write code that looks like this, or perhaps a little bit simpler would simply be to write textbox2.text equals. <clears throat> and then we need to translate this into string by calling a toString method. So let's look at our design for a second. Textbox 1 up here, textbox 2 down here. This is where we'll put the input. This is where we'll get the data back. We come back, check our work here. What did we write? 
We're getting the input from Textbox 1. We're going to show it in Textbox 2. Everything looks good here, so let's go ahead and run. We run. I'll bring the form over here where you can see it. I'll enter in a value and I'll press the button. And there it squared the number that we entered. Okay? So that's all I wanted to show you right now. Gives you a quick example of how to translate a little description like this into code that you can actually work with. The only part I perhaps didn't mention is notice that we're using that default namespace. Windows Forms Application 22 over here Windows Forms Application 22. That's what I mean when I say use the namespace of your main form. That means you don't have to do anything. Just accept things the way they are. Alright, so that's a pattern we'll use over and over again and you should be able to do that by heart. You should just be able to write that particular application to take a look at a specification like this and just boom, write out the method as fast as I did just then. All right. Thank you very much. Bye now.